Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit the ETC host file on your Mac computer. I'll explain why you wanna do this along the way. So let's get right into it here. And I have this IP address right here, which I have, you know, this is a remote server somewhere. I have some files on it that I wanna access, and I'm gonna be accessing them, you know, over the next year or so. So I don't wanna type in this uh, IP address every time that I come to access these files. I guess I could add a bookmark, but a cool way to actually map this IP address to a name is to edit the ETC host file. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So um, it kind of works like if you go to google.com, you're actually going to an IP address. What's Google's IP address? Well, if we open up a terminal window and ping google.com, you'll see that Google has an IP address of 172.217.4.174. But there is this concept of mapping IP addresses to names that it's called DNS. And instead of us having to type in 172.217.4.174 every time you want to go to Google, we can just type in google.com and we'll go there. So let's do something similar, but with this IP address. And we can do that with um, by editing the ETC host file on our Mac. Now, there, a lot of you um, might be uncomfortable with using the terminal application, but it, in my opinion, it's the easiest way. Instead of opening up a text editor, there, there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through um, to do that. But here, I'm gonna show you how to do this from within the terminal window itself. We don't have to do anything crazy. So what we're gonna do is type in sudo, okay? slash or sudo vim slash etc hosts okay and sudo is just giving you elevated privileges vim is the text editor that i'm going to show you uh, so pay attention how to use it because it's a little bit of a learning curve and then etc hosts is the file that we want to edit so hit enter type in your password and here we go so you can see in here i already have some ip addresses mapped to a name and we're going to add one more here. We're going to add the IP address 45.79.133.213. I'm going to map that to, let's pick something. Uh, there's files on there, so let's call it files. Okay. Uh, and I forgot to tell you what I typed to do this. So um, type, move your, move your keys down to the bottom. Type I on your keyboard to enter insert mode. And then you can like use, use this as normal. Type whatever you want to type. Um, and then when you're satisfied with your changes, you can hit escape and then shift colon. Okay. To, to bring this little menu down here in WQ to write the file and quit out of it. So and that'll save all your changes. So hit enter. Cool. So now we have that edited. We edited our ETC host file. If we come back up to our browser window and, um, type in. So if I type in files right here like that, it's not going to work. It's going to Google search for files. But if I type in files slash, it'll work. It'll go to that page. Also, I can type in HTTP colon slash slash files, and it'll go to that same page. So you have a couple different options there, but you just have to prefix or postfix it with HTTP or the slash. Um, that's about it. You can you can imagine how uh, valuable this can be if you're working with IP addresses instead of remembering them, like I said in the beginning, um, just a way to map an IP address to a name. So if you have any questions about doing that, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you want to see more videos about Mac tricks, tips like this, subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.